Development economist Dr. Claudius Breville has offered a series of measures aimed at creating sustainable economic growth in the country. The suggestions were made as Dr. Breville delivered the guest lecture at the Nobel Laureate Reef Laying Ceremony on Friday, 21st January 2022. The lecture focused on Sir Arthur Lewis's economic theory and its application to St. Lucia's economy. He indicated that the country has been facing financial woes compounded by the COVID-19 pandemic. However, experts predict double-digit growth in the gross domestic product in 2022. Dr. Breville says product diversification and e-commerce are two essential avenues. The diversification I have in mind will call for a number of things. And among them, would, in this current time, we have to apply electronic commerce. We have to look at ways of exporting goods and services that lend themselves to utilizing platforms driven by electronic commerce. We have to also take more advantage of the opportunities that are available to us in the multitude of FTAs we have negotiated. We have the CARICOM agreement. We have the OECS Economic Union. We have the CARI Forum EU EPA. We have bilateral agreements with the United States and Canada. And the utilization of those agreements is where the problem lies. We need capital. Capital remains a central factor for growth. Dr. Pravel further noted the need for St. Lucia's agricultural share of GDP to increase from 1.7% to 5% by 2030. The economist stated that the country could face a possible food crisis if the sector continues on its current trajectory. Manufacturing. Manufacturing has to increase the share of GDP, and in my view, by at least 10% by 2030. You might say, manufacturing what? Manufacturing of today is not what it used to be 20 years ago. About 80% of international trade is the exchange in the movement of intermediate products, not final finished products. So you're making a cell phone, someone sends the chips from maybe uh, the US to China, the circuit design is done somewhere in maybe in Hong Kong, uh, the battery is developed somewhere else, you have a multitude of countries involved in what we call a global supply chain. And everyone is adding value at different stages of that supply chain. So, in other words, our manufacturing sector of today need not focus on building a car or building you know, some, something that requires extensive capital and resources. No. We need to focus on where can we add value in the supply chain. In attendance at the reef laying ceremony were Acting Governor General, His Excellency Sir Errol Charles, Governor General Emerita, Her Excellency Dame Paulette Luisi, Chair of the Nobel Laureate Festival Committee, former Prime Minister Suvon Lewis, and the Minister for Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, Honorable Sean Edward. From the Government Information Service, Humadi Mark reporting.